I just want to mention that for the last few days, I've been kind of out of myself, not really motivated, didn't really hear too much from God, just in a space where I was just down. I, I, I couldn't understand why. I didn't understand where it, it came from. I was trying to figure out if it was just the fall, the time of year, you know, things slowing down, if it was just the reticular activating system in my mind, just pulling up something that happened around this time that could possibly make me sad. You know, I began to wonder. So God said, you know, you need to fast and pray about it. And as I began to fast and pray, I heard the Lord say, and I want to share with you that you have to be careful about the company that you keep. You have to be careful what you listen to. You have to be careful of the interactions that you have with people. Because I want to let you know that sometimes some folks' energy can get off on you and you don't even understand what happened to you. Sometimes you could be just talking to a friend or family and they could be going through something and their spirit, they leave a residue on you. I want you to understand that during this time, you have to keep yourself covered in prayer. You have to keep yourself prayed up. You have to be very, very sober-minded. You have to be very observant of your surroundings because sometimes it seems that when an enemy attacks you, it should be like a blatant attack. It should be an attack where you know that that's the devil. But I want you to know that he is a little bit more sophisticated, sly, and sneaky nowadays. It's sometimes through those that you call your husband, your wife, your boo, your friend, your family members, your co-workers, that energy, that spirit will get off on you and you don't even understand what happened to you. I began to just ponder on it. Who have I been around? Who have I talked to? Am I mad at people or somebody? No, but I'm mindful of what is going on in our environment. Because I want you to understand this, that the devil mad because you have a relationship with God. The devil ain't too pleased with you that you are putting fasting and prayer on the forefront of your mind. The devil ain't really too happy with you that you have a posture of prayer life, a posture of prayer in your life. The devil is not too glad that you have confidence where you can stand with your shoulders squared and talk about what you want and what you don't want, what you're willing to accept, what you're not willing to accept, a boundary that you may have, your mind, the way it is set up now, the things that you're focusing on now. The devil ain't too pleased with the fact that you have have the audacity to be happy, that you have the audacity to think that you could co-create your life with God, that you have the audacity to speak life into a barren state of consciousness in your mind and things will begin to take form in your life, that you have the audacity to even dare to think that you could pull away from the pack. So what the enemy will do is come through people that you know. And they don't even do anything sometimes. And sometimes the enemy will be observing you through them and realizing that you are happy. Because I want you to understand that misery show enough loves company. And you could be in the company of somebody that's smiling in your face, but in their heart, they don't like you. You have to be real, 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 real careful. Uh, of the company that you keep. And I want you to know that sometimes that company be your own family, your own family members that keep up more hell than hell itself. They keep up more drama, more confusion, more jealousy, more envy, more slander, more gossip than anybody that you could ever think about. Check your environment. Check your spirit. Check your space. Check yourself. If you're feeling down today or out of yourself like I was and you just don't understand where this spirit came from, 
then you need to fast and you need to pray. Because I tell you the truth, that the enemy show sure ain't pleased about the fact that you choose to live your life for God. And until the next video, guys, mwah, peace, because I sure enough believe in you. Bye now.